I remember when we opened the restaurant, there was nowhere written outside. Um, that's an Indian restaurant. So it, there was a, just a name written as Chakra. And people will literally, at the initial days, will knock the door, or come, and, come in and say, what Chakra means, okay? And what kind of food it is. Starting from there to now being the part of the community, in the last four and a half, five years, it's been an amazing journey. Um, now, a lot of uh, our guests are friends. Um, we have seen a lot of uh, guests getting married, now having kids. Um, and the kids coming here to say, oh, that's, that's the best food you know, we so like. And we want to come. Four years old and coming and saying, this is our favorite restaurant. So, uh, so it's beautiful. We, we got so much love here. This, this is the best community we live in. We have got a collection of the wines we have collected from the guests over the years. We've got a cabinet <laughs> which is full now. Yeah. Um, so we never, when we opened the restaurant, we never knew it can be so satisfying. So rewarding. Um, it's just it is so, so rewarding. We thought we are just doing something which we love. But what we got in return is phenomenal. So we came to Australia 11 years ago and the reason was the family, my brother, my cousins, my uncles, aunties, all were in Brisbane and Melbourne. So that was the plan to come. We being working professionals, I'm a high school chemistry teacher and Kuma being the strategic planner for hotels, it was easy for us to move to Australia and Australia welcomed us with open hands. We ended up in Perth because of our job opportunities and that's where we are and we love Perth. Working here, um, we realized there was a gap that the perception of Indian food is something that was very different from what we had when we, when we were living back home. And the, the enjoyment attached to it was very different. So, um, so we thought we need to kind of fill the gap. Um, and uh, we being foodies, we thought we... Or bring our home to Australia. What we grew up watching our mom, mother-in-laws, grandmoms cooking, eating, um, that was missing here. So we thought, we, we were inclined towards opening a business, so we thought why not food, which we understand a lot. The food is exactly home style cooked with basic ingredients, with whole herbs and spices, with uh, most of the herbs and spices coming from India. And the second thing which we did is, um, we, we followed the principle of Atithi Devo Bhava. It's a Sanskrit line which means guest is equivalent to God. So that's what mum was used to say. So when guests are coming home, you're not allowed to have the best of the things. You're not allowed to, to sit in front of the aircon. The guests are supposed to sit there. We trained all our staff onto that. Even now we follow the same philosophy. Um, that every guest who walks inside, whether he spends $25 or $250, they will be equivalent to God in, in this place. So we coupled our Indian hospitality with Indian homestyle cooked food. We never lose touch with the basics here. I come to the kitchen once a week for full on, full on working during the day. Um, so that's how, how And I do all the tasting. <laughs> <laughs> So my brother, he's the head chef of the restaurant. And uh, so he, he was the idea, he was the person who was behind the idea of this restaurant. Uh, the ideology is progressive Indian. So although the food is home style cooked, um, it's progressive in a way because in Australia, we are presenting food which is, do not have any colors in it, no MSGs, not even chili powder used here. So we're taking it back home the way it used to be cooked back home, which is very hard to find in, in Australia, unfortunately, so far. And then he added his element of, of presentation to it, to taking it to the next level. And Namita, um, who's the fourth family member, she is the holy soul in charge of our drinks. So she's the one who's behind all the cocktails we make, because our cocktails are unique cocktails. They are nowhere to be found anywhere else. We infuse our own gins, our own vodkas. Um, we buy, our, we get our saffron from Kashmir, which is in India, uh, known, best known for the saffron. So we do 
everything from scratch here. Our kids come to the business as well. We have got young kids. They come whenever they want to come and they help. They're like little fairies and prince and working around. And I haven't heard a single bad thing from any table so far. They all love to chat to them. Even the reviews on Google has mentioned, uh, <laughs> we love their small little daughter coming in with the treats or the, the young boy with the curly hair coming out. So this is the best community. It's really very rewarding working here. The philosophy of Chakra is to bring our home style cooked food with the most glorious presentation for the guest so that they have value, they feel value for money and they, they, they feel loved here. So we follow the principle of no packed masalas, no colors, no MSGs, a local produce and a home style cooking. It's our job, it's our utmost responsibility to make the person feel at home. Uh, our philosophy has got four points in my understanding. We, we do simple cooking, we do fancy presentation, we treat our guest equivalent to God, right? And we, we love our friends. Yeah, cool. Yeah.